Welcome to the Suerte del Molino Farm, Andalusia in Spain. 27 degrees Celsius. High humidity. It feels very, very hot. Here I sit with a plant called the Ginesta. And um, it shows up everywhere on the farm. And I thought this is very invasive. Then I learned it is a uh, nitrogen fixer. And I, I also questioned the concept of invasive. So it is from Europe. Does it mean it is not invasive? To me, when it invades space all the time where I don't want it, somehow to me that's invasive. Anyway, uh, there are 9, 10, 11 kind species of Ginestas. Um, this one has a, f a leaf that is quite simple. It's not the triangular pointy one, pointy one. The flowers are arranged uh, stepwise around the stem. This is a typical flower of the Mediterranean as well. A, an insect needs to work, work hard to enter. So it saves its pollen for the right uh, insect that really takes time to get immersed in this uh, pollen and then flies off to the next flower. And the stem is round-ish, hair-ish and round-ish. So it needs to be identified. So I will leave it. I mean, first of all, there are too many of them. And uh, let them fix the nitrogen. I read that they show up in marshlands. Thank you guys, a compliment for me to <laughs> say I have a marshland. I mean, just carries on and on and on and on. Max had a haircut, but amateur haircut, so we try to get the hair shorter, but it didn't work too well. Now he's quite Apache-like, <laughs> a patch here and a patch there, but it's okay, I'm learning. This Genesta, um, it appears to be very invasive in other parts of the world, uh, especially in the United States of America. So they try their level best to get rid of it. It's not good for animals. And uh, I will use it for essential oil. I'm looking forward to that. Another nitrogen fixer is this treble. We have a lot of this in many, many areas. So a lot of clover showing up as well. It's also a nitrogen fixer. Fix it guys, fix it! We can do with nitrogen. This is the other species of cystus. 
we have on the farm. It's much shorter plant and uh, it has more commercial value because it gets sold to uh, Arab countries, the essence, to make perfumes for men. It has a slightly, slightly bigger flower than the white one. Beautiful color, I like it. We don't remove them. I'm actually trying to plant them. This is the walkway towards the cistern and the pump of the canal system. Soon it will be trodden very well. I haven't had need to go there very often so far, but the time is coming. I already irrigated once just to see if everything is working. It's doing fine and the cistern is full. Excellent. Here in the creek, the bottom half we still have running water, which is an absolute miracle. And I am so pleased with it. Just look at this. I sat here several times just watching this. It comes from there and just over there is nothing. The canal system is just on the other side. Absolutely beautiful. All the swales have been heavily planted and uh, this is the second rose garden, look at it. Another few days we will have roses. I planted with some compost these citrus trees a week ago. And uh, look at the blossoms. Of the 1,200 plus meters of swales, there is not more than 20 centimeters without something being planted, which was a huge, huge job. But I'm so happy that we have done it. And uh, we now still lick our wounds, but uh, I think we will have big rewards from it. And that will be brilliant. Another spot with clover. I have contemplated cutting this grass on the farm and uh, I have surrendered once again because there are many, many small anthenas and uh, you have to be very vigilant not to kill them it is special that they did show up and there's no way I can cut the grass without cutting them. This is an area where there are not that many grass. But look at the anthenas. One here, one here. 
One here, one here, one here, one here, one here, one here. It's impossible. I will let them be. They are more important to me than cutting the grass. We should have a project where we identify them, the ones we want to keep, mark them clearly, and then we can embark on a grass cutting experience. Till next time. Goodbye.